Hello, everyone. And welcome. Thursday. Welcome <sighs> to Thursday, and welcome to a very special Thursday. Oh, so. It's a good Thursday. I'm it's sure you Thursday. have all now seen the title and the thumbnail. Today, we're getting revenge. We're this getting is, our comeuppance. This is our revenge on Lori. Ta-da! Uh, good old Lori. Yes. Lori death. We are doing another collaboration with our good, good friend Lori Tata. If you are not following her, what are you doing? Why? She's amazing. Ryan even had the opportunity to visit her in person. I lived in her home for a week. Yes. It was nice. Cute little house. So if you've missed those videos, those are back on our channel not too uh, long ago. No, it was August. But Ryan had like think... three videos with Lori from oh, his trip. And then also, this is revenge because we have done one other collab with Lori in the past too. That one didn't go as well. And that was Battle of the Bins. And if you were here for that one, whether you be from her channel or from ours, you know that we miserably lost. It was rough. If you are from our channel, you know that our hauls are usually way better much, than much that better. one. Much, 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 much. And if you're from hers, we promise our hauls are all, literally that was the worst haul we've probably I know ever what I'm had. talking about. I know what I'm doing. My bins are good. Yes. This is an example of that. Well, before we jump into our haul, we do have a little bit of footage of when we went to the bins and here that is now. Hi. <laughs> So you should have just seen a different intro, but this is this is us from the past. It's like ghost of Ooh. ghost of Thriftmas Past. Today is Sunday, December fifth, and we are ready to cream Lori. I hope so. You know what? But knock on wood, yes. she's gonna blow us out of the water again. So it was Battle of the Bins last time, and I told Lori this is Revenge of the Bins, as in Revenge oh, of this. Us and Revenge of the Minnesota Bins. So if any of you are from Lori's channel. And you saw the last time we did this. I know that that was terrible. That was a once in a lifetime little instance. That you was that, bad that was our day. worst bin trip <laughs> like ever. ever. But like we couldn't go another time between then and filming, so like we just had to live with our loss. But we yeah. always like we basically always get like really good stuff. Trust us, we find great things in Minnesota. We're here to get revenge of the bins, and we are going to like destroy We're beat Lori. her. Yeah. We also have a little scavenger hunt. So we talked, we chit chatted, all three of us. We are trying to get an ugly, real vintage Christmas sweater. Yes. A weird piece of Christmas decor, something for each of our dogs. So Lori's gonna get something for Mike, and we're gonna get something for Miss Lulu Marie, and then something with the highest retail or resale retail. Retail and resale? It was. It's one of the two. But yeah, that's that's our challenges. Weird Christmas decor. decor. Which could be an ornament. It could be. Vintage could be sweater, but it has to be vintage. Vintage. Can't be one of those like the new, new target ugly ones. ones. No. It's gotta be good grandma vintage. Yeah, so hopefully we can find all that. Yes. And then you guys below are gonna say like, who had the weirdest Christmas? Who who, the who found Christmas the highest value item? And that's how we're competing. Not only do we have to have a better haul, now there's more stakes. Stakes are getting higher. And we're gonna beat Lori in every single way. <laughs> <laughs> we're watching you, Tata. Oh, ow. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna go in. We're here, and it's not its not crazy busy, which Sundays are usually so busy, so it's already a good sign. It's already the universe saying, beat Lori. You're gonna beat her. Yeah, let's go. Will we beat Lori? It is certain.
like we said in those clips, we had a couple like missions that we were on in the bins that Lori kind of added as a little twist into our little challenge. And those were to find something for each other's dogs, <sighs> which we unfortunately, do. I'm so sorry to Hoofa. And, Lula Marie. And, oh, she's a cute And Lori, too. literally, we didn't see a single dog thing. No. Not a toy, not a collar, not a leash. I did see really old, awful, like, leashes that you put, like, on the post in the ground, and then the dog runs around, but, like, that's not worth sending home. No. That's not gonna happen. So, that's Hoofa, bad. we have an IOU. Lori. <laughs> Lula Lula. Lula. And Lula. then we also had the mission of finding the wackiest Christmas piece of decor, which we had kind of a few, I think, that we got footage of. But a couple I, of fun ones. I think we picked the weird, like, family caroler. In or was of... it that god-awful snowman? Oh, yeah. That furry, weird, yeah. wretched snowman. Yeah, there was a deer without a head. That was just traumatizing. There was a church with, like, carolers in front, and the dad, dad looked angry. Dad was not having it. And then, yeah, I think the winner was, it was, like, a snowman made of, like, old dried It looked like pillow almost. stuffing almost that you sprayed like spray snow. I it was don't disgusting. care. It was awful and I hated it and it belongs in the dump. And then the other challenge mm -hmm. was to find a interesting actual 80s vintage Christmas sweater, which we did find one of. Jack found it. I Ooh. wish we could have found a funner one. It was I kind know. of a basic, like, the expected. A run-of-the-mill ugly sweater. I'm glad we found one. I had found, we found a vintage Halloween one. I found a vintage Easter sweater. And I found a vintage Thanksgiving one, but at least we found <laughs> so one. We got all the holidays <laughs> we checked. Got, we got the whole calendar covered. What the whole point of all this was, oh. was obviously to genuinely shop for our businesses and give you guys a good old thrift haul. A good little fun, friendly competition. And, and like the eight ball, the magic eight ball said, I am quite certain that we are going to win. We had a very, very, very <sighs> good bins trip. Yes, we did. So we have a very, very, very good bins haul for you guys. <laughs> and Lori, beat that. Read beat away. this. <laughs> Before we get into it, everything I have is now listed. Mine so too. Look at that. Ugh. Mine is all listed. I got that done today as we're filming. Oh, today. I got mine done today too. Yeah. So, which actually I got all my pictures done, but I'm going to finish listing tonight. So it will all be up. If you want anything, please go to to Poshmark, which is Link down below. Time. Yeah, Jax and mine. Or just see me on Instagram. And before we jump in, go check out Lori's side of this challenge. Yeah. I will link, if her video's up, I'll link that below. If it's not, I'll at least link her channel so you can go Lori find Tata. it. Lori Tata, her Instagram, yes. Lori's Boston Found. Love yes. her to death. We love Lori. Lori, we're gonna show you what you're up against. Get now. some tissues. So we're gonna, we're gonna start with shoes <laughs> and like bags and then move on to the clothing. The clothing. I guess I will start because I have a lot more shoes. Jack so got more shoes than I did. I will do like half my shoes, Ryan will do his, and then I I will show you the rest of mine. So actually, let me start with the one bag that I found. I got a lot of bags. Oh, trip, just FYI. kidding. I found two. I found a Kipling also. Oh. <gasps> so I was thinking I was going to give this to Debbie, my mother, because she likes Kipling. Debbie, for some reason, it's only cute. wants the monkeys. Yes. She doesn't actually want the bags. And this one is named... She just wants the monkeys. Nink Ninky? Ninky? Anyways, so the bag that is worth talking about is this mm -hmm. one. So this is a really cute, like, patent quilted bucket bag. It is not Ralph Lauren, though it comes with a free <laughs> Ralph Lauren little tassel. Little toddle. The issue with this one is that it's kind of like the patent has come off there, but this will be an easy fix. If I just dye it, it'll blend in, and two mm -hmm. panels just won't be patent. It's not going to be a big deal. I just have to redye it. This is by a Bolo brand that y'all should know, and if you don't, take out your Bolo notebooks and write it down. It is called Bali. B-A-L-L-Y. Y right here and they make okay. shoes and bags mainly they might make some other stuff there's another logo but bali or bali is a very very expensive leather brand i was gonna say i think they make like other smaller little leather accessories yeah this is super it's like brand new on the inside it's really cute and yeah so the only flaws are these two panels but like i said when i redye them i have also heard and like don't quote me so do your googling is that olive oil if you put like olive oil on like a microfiber and rub it on 
patent that's like done. I don't oh, know yeah. what the process it is, but like, look like it dried almost. It just whatever happens to it. I have heard the olive oil, so I could try. can help. So okay, at your own risk. On to shoes. So these are shoes that I'm gonna send to the real real, even though they honestly would probably do okay on posh. Oh, they're cute. These are like square toed leather ankle height booties, and these are by Stuart Weitzman. I found the other. Yep, there's a logo there. I found a lot of singles, and Ryan helped me find, like, half of the others. It is a much... Okay, you cannot see the label, but it's quite oh. an old label. But these are kinds that are, like, back in now. They're really cute. Chunky heel. And... I would sell these myself. But the real, real prices to Weitzman boots, pretty decent. So that's what mm -hmm. I'm going to do. And if you're new here, I'm big on the real, real. Yes. So, we very big the on the real, real. real. Then we have this pair these of super nice. tall riding boots. And in our trend report, we said the knee-high boots are very popular. <laughs> Here she is. For winter. Are these my size? And these are a great size. These are a women's, like, 12. So, so they are my size. Yeah. <gasps> Should I do a try on? No. Um, I could be new So weirdly, these have, like, American Eagle, like, the USA, like, emblem on all the buttons. The little crusty thing. Yeah. But these are Sam Edelman. These are a take off of <laughs> the, um, the penny boot that Sam Edelman makes. It's this exact same style, except it only goes up to like mid calf and it has these same buttons, like American flag yeah, this buttons. Is, this People is, love this kind of stuff. This is the Percy. Yes. E R C I E. These are literally brand new. Like, literally never been worn. Then, Tuck these I'm going to give to Debbie to sell. Once again, that's my mother. Debbie. They're just not in good enough shape for me, but they're still something I did not want to skip. So, these are Tory Birch. I would sell them myself, except this one has this wear to the back heel, which I'm not a huge fan of. And actually, Tory Birch flats, I kind of have a rough time selling. Yeah, I do too. So she'll be able to sell them. And Debbie doesn't care what she gets because it's all free. Because it's free Throw and us. all she does is take it off the top. So if you want them, go to Debbie's Closet. They're a nine and a half. These are so Then cool. we have these. These are so these nice. Are really and these are literally brand new. They're leather slides with this nice, like, bow knot detail. And they are Saludos. They're Which really cute. I really like Saludos. They usually make espadrilles. These were sold at Anthro and they were on Mod Sense and all that stuff. These, These are a nine are and a really half as well. A lot of the good shoes I found are a nine and a half. So obviously probably I think the my really good pair was a forty, mm. which is this girl's size. So then, these, oh. I have never actually sold any newer Sorrells before. I just never find them. Mm -hmm. And now, I found a pair. So these, these are, are like the Hidden Wedge boots. What did you say they're called? They're called the Joan of the Arctic. The Joan of the Arctic. They've been worn, so like there's some wear down on the heels. And then this side has a like spot that on camera shows up so much more than in person. Yeah. You really can't you see can, it in You person. can see it, but not. Not it's not much, like that not pronounced. as much as you guys can see. I just no. took pictures of these today and I was like, what? Like you really can't see it's that so much in weird. person. But these are like the trendy Sorrel yeah. boots. Everybody and their mother, especially up in Miniatura, wears these constantly. Yes. They wear them all the time. And these are a size eight. So this was a different person. Then different we have one. some Birkenstocks and they've obviously been worn in. You can see that. These are size six, but I still pick up stuff like this, especially when there's no cracking on the side. Or when the bottom sole isn't super worn yeah. away. Cause it's really not that expensive to get them resold. No. It's just like the minute you put your foot into a Birkenstock, the leather just darkens just yeah. because. I just won't sell them for as much. Like these would be like 35 and I'll take an offer on them or bad. something. Then these are actually already sold, but I'm still going to show you them. You these, sold these? These are from the nine and a half nine lady. So <gasps> these lady. are corks by oh. Corkies, which I, I used to think it was the corkies. opposite, corks. but it's corks by Corkies. I love Corkies. So there it says corks. These again are literally like brand new. She didn't she... wear like any of her shoes. Our rich lady. But these, I forgot what they're called, like the Shimra or something. And yeah, these were a nine, but they'll probably be shipped out with a 10. What did you sell them for? And they sold for 40 But it was super quick. That's pretty good. Yeah, I listed them at like 55 Quirks books are like a really good like $40, $50 sl slip. 
flip. Then you're kidding me. We got some Toy Birch Millers, and kidding. these are super nice ones. Usually the or the logo is like in the leather, not like this metal. And so this is probably a more expensive style of them since it's like its own golden thing. And these are literally once again stunning condition. I'm assuming it's the same lady. What size are these? Ten and a half. So it's not. These are. I mean, unless she wore big sandals. She might have liked big sandals because the sandals that I found her. But these which are. I'll be Super, super nice. They're really cute. Really good condition. And the Millers, if you didn't know, is, again, like, the Tory Burch sandal. They sell so fast. They sell so well. I don't I will know why do they're available everywhere. One more shoe, and then Ryan can do his bags and shoes, and then I'll finish mine. So these, you might know already without me showing the logo or telling you, these are free people, and these are the lost something. Oh, I've had these, like, a million times. So I'm, I'm mad recently. that I can't remember it. Um, These are also size 9. So probably the same lady. Mm -hmm. There's the Free People logo. These actually sell really well. And they're kind of like the corks where like these will get me about like 40 or 50. Mm -hmm. Some people, if they're like super, super good shape, list them at like 100. But I'd rather sell them than As let them said, sit there. I don't want to just look at them. These are really nice. They are cute. Okay, bags. First bag. So all these were in one bin like... Boom, boom, yeah, boom, all boom, of a sudden boom. Ryan had like a cart full of bags. I literally just took the stack, which I absolutely love and adore and pray to God that it happens every single time I go. That there's just a stack of like good shoes, good clothes, good bags from the same person that good employee just said into the bin. So first one is this really cute little Dooney and Burke leather little shoulder bag. And if you're new here, for some reason people at our bins just don't want bags. They don't. They don't at all. That is referenced by everything that I'm about to show you. <laughs> this included. So it was a little dusty when I found it and there is a few little interior marks. I have a sweatshirt in here right now to kind of like reshape it. But if you check my Poshmark listing for this bag, you will see that it's just a little dirty on the inside, but the outside is in beautiful Beautiful condition. That's a the, really nice tuning. It's like she got some weight to her, which I love. Okay, so this next one came in a dust bag. No, I found the dust bag. It was like tucked inside. So this is a coach bag. She's quite pretty. And there is um, a crossbody strap that goes with it. So these rings like attached to something. This is called the coach central satchel in midnight. It is this really, really pretty, really super soft pebble, the leather and this like dark blue, black. They look I was like they're like cut from the same. Are we sensing a theme? Yeah. Is this game. that same lady? They were right on top of each other, so probably. We were talking about how neither of us feel like we ever see Coach in, like, thick, pebbled leather. So that's... No, this is the first time I've ever seen it, which it's absolutely beautiful. The inside to this one, it's stuffed as well, is literally spotless. There's a few front pockets that are, like, just open, and then the back pocket has a zipper. I assume that's not factory? Mmm, I don't think so. It doesn't seem like factory. That's way too nice a leather. No, I don't think it is. Crossbody. <laughs> Just to prove. Oh, it, oh, is. it is factory. Huh. Wow. It's nice. And it's one of those like expensive ones. Interesting. It's quite pretty. And the dust bag, unfortunately, like is a little dirty. But oh, it's also funny. just a dust bag. And the dust bags are meant to absorb the dirt. I was going to say, doesn't. so the dust bag's supposed to get dirty. <clears throat> so he, he. Mm -hmm. Okay, next coach it bag. It means the bag was protected. Yes, it was. Next coach bag is this really pretty red leather little saddle bag. Unfortunately, the coach little key fob kind of split, but I am fairly confident that that's really not that big of a deal. So this one, I am thinking is a contender to um, take a bath, if that makes any sense. So I know when people get these like all leather coach bags that you can like soak them in water or do something to them to kind of like even out the color a little bit, That's which I think I'm going to do mm -hmm. just to like, but it's really pretty. And I do know that this style, this like little saddle style is quite popular. It's right literally now. like fire truck red. It is like fire truck red. <laughs> I know it's not like quite showing up on camera, but it's on. Oh my God, the leather is so soft. So then my next bag, which I think the wallet's still in here, is this other coach bag. So this one is a little bigger and I definitely don't get everything in this like coach monogram. That circular seat. Patent leather. If I do, I usually give it to Debbie, but this one I really liked because it's really big and it has, it had the crossbody with it. And I feel like that just makes it a little bit more attractive. The inside of this one, unfortunately, does have a little bit of wear. It has like some spots above this back zipper compartment and then just some overall signs of wear in some of the pockets. But that's not the big video. That's okay. And then I found a lot of wallets. 
This wallet has unfortunately already sold. It is Kate Spade. It is the Jackson Little Accordion Clutch. I thought it was missing the crossbody. And then when I was Googling it, you're just supposed to like attach your own crossbody, which I thought was nice. There's a little bit of wear like on the end of the zipper and a few just little like marks from things being pressed on it on the bins. Also, yes, this is all from the same. Bins. All from the same trip. <laughs> all, well, these this, bags literally came into my life like within 20 minutes. This is what we're talking about. Normally our bins are Good much bins. better. <laughs> okay, this has already sold as well. Michael Kors orange little wallet. I really don't like Michael Kors personally, but I mean, this wallet <laughs> is in, this last on Saturday. it's in really good condition. There's a little bit of corner wear other than that. Like, oh, there's so coupons in here. So this one on Poshmark for 35, the Kate Spade is sold on Mercari for 44. Mustard yellow. Yeah. It's like really orange. Like I've never seen anything this color before. I don't think. It's nacho. It's literally nacho, nacho cheese. Nacho cheese. That's a good one. So those will get shipped out. This has not sold. Really nice Coach CC Brown monogram wallet with the purple patent detail. But what I like about this one is there's an accordion on this side and then it unzips this way. So there's an accordion there and then this is also an accordion so you can like tuck your crap in here. And this has really never been used. It's super nice. The patent is in really amazing condition. The zipper pull is in really amazing condition, which I was a fan of. This is also adorable. This is a Kate Spade wallet. That's my last wallet, I promise. Um, it has this lemon print on it. And if you can see, it's really, really, really faint. There's a little bit of discoloration right here and then right up on this corner. I literally think it's only me who can see it because yeah, like there's this little purple, like it's really, 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 really faint. Um, but these are still like, at the outlets, which is crazy to me that somebody donated it. The inside is literally spotless. Like, it's so pretty. There's the little Kate Spade. I thing. found one bag and Ryan found like a whole bundle. I bags. found a whole store. I got this as an accessory because usually we do bags and accessories at the same time. This is just a straw hat, which honestly, I usually don't even check them because like they're always Target. But I <laughs> checked this said. one and it's actually J. Crew, And sure. you'd think that's the old label because it's black. But as I said, like almost like a month ago, J. Crew is all over the place with the labels that they, they use. They Usually black is older, but this is from 2020 summer. Hmm. It's like the old black. Oh, label. and it's also uh -huh. large, extra large, which I don't I really know. know. <laughs> it's head sizes. So if you've got a larger head, that'll work perfect. Because big headed people need hats too. Then we got some real good shoes. These I'm not as excited about as the other ones, but these are still really good. Oh my god, literally stop. So these are like hiking sneakers. They're in a navy blue with orange detail. And if you recognize this logo, you know what these are. That'd be a fun tattoo. These are Arcteryx, the bending lizard. And the unfortunately, lizard. this th this one shoe has some wear here, probably from like hiking and them rubbing together. Mm -hmm. But the bottom's in like fantastic shape and everything else is in great shape. They were like a little dusty and I dusted them. Then... Arcteryx if you don't know, is crazy expensive. It's an outdoor brand. I've never tried the shoes, so we'll see. No, I haven't either. So then we've got two really good <sighs> pairs of shoes. I was so happy when I found the matches to both of these because it took me a second for both of them. And they're both very plain. Yes. Which so never helps. I saw these just like laying this way and I saw this logo. It was actually this way. So I was like, ha, 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 is that Vince Camuto? It's Vince Camuto. But then I was like, oh wait. I think I know what that is. Isn't that Aquatalia? And sure enough, then I found... Yeah, I can't get that in there. Then I found... Or then I looked inside and I found the logo and it is Aquatalia. So these yeah, have that's where it says... Probably never been worn. These have maybe been worn once. They're also size 9, so probably that same rich lady. Rich little people. Really cute. These like buckle. Super nice suede. Aquatalia has such nice leather. I like that it's a circle and a hexagon. Then these super, super cute kind of Western Chelsea boots, which again, the trend report. Chelsea boots are really popular. These are size 6 and they are rag and bone, which I love selling rag and bone shoes so cute again why do i keep doing like you can't see the leather on these leather. is also insanely yeah amazing. it's they're so in so nice such good shape i mean they're worn on the bottoms obviously but like the exterior and the back and everything is just in crazy good shape and i feel like that's part of the rag and bone vibe i feel like is yeah. like a little bit beaten kind of like all saints yeah 
yeah. Like workwear. First pair of shoes. Ryan has an insane shoe. I do. BTW. This is not it. This is a pair of Sorel booties. This is the Lola boot, if I'm not mistaken. But they really don't look like they've ever been worn that much. They definitely have kind of got like bunked around in the bin from just being like shuffled around. They are, I want to say a six and a half. So this lady also had that lovable pair of rag and bones. These are super nice. I've honestly never had a newer pair of Sorels, I don't think. <laughs> I just said to. I don't think I have, honestly. So I was very excited to find those. A lot of people do. Over, and like, people here, they don't go for the bags, they go for the boots. Yeah. Sorrells, Timberlands, all that kind of stuff. Gets mark those so high. Like, it's impossible to find a pair around here for under like $70. It is crazy. So these definitely came from the first Quirks Lady. This is the rain sandal in this really pretty kind of like neutral leather. And then if you flip her over, it has this nice little braiding detail on the side. These have, again, never been been worn but they still have like the sticker residue from like nordstrom rack or wherever she got them which i might try to take off i love selling the cork stuff this is an easy like 25 30 bucks and the fact that they're new is great oh one more bag so this little pink coach wallet i have lotted up with the pink coach purse it's just like plain on the inside yeah. anyway if i find two things with the same color and they're not like the best condition i'll just like smack them together okay this is lori Buckler. Oh my god. Lori, this is when, if you felt confident so far, this is when that all goes out the window. So, this is like the straw that broke the Lori's back. The Tate is back. <laughs> the straw that broke Lori's back. Poor Lori. Full disclosure, I am giving these to my best friend for Christmas. So, it is a pair <coughs> of... <coughs> well, that really killed this. Oh, sorry. It is a pair of Gucci sandals. Oh, they have this really fun little kitten heel on them and they have this really beautiful if i can try to not drop them little heart detail on the the front part the oh. logo heart yeah the big like the ggs they really don't look like they've been worn a ton obviously a couple times and they are a size 40 she's going to vegas for new year's i was like oh fuck and they're authentic. I definitely sure. don't give my friends Gucci sandals for Christmas all the time. I don't even get Gucci from Ryan. But they were her size. So, Lauren, I swear to God, if you don't like these, I'm going to take them off and just smack you. Okay, anyway. so on to the clothes. And we're going to kind of try to power through the clothes because this is already kind of a long haul. I know some people like long ones, but editing Jack not a huge fan of like super no. long videos again keep in mind yes this is all from the bins yes it's all from one, one day bins trip because again there's really good clothes too so starting off on a high note we have patagonia which we don't even really find that often shocking um size good. medium and this is men's and this is like the classic better sweater it's in so cute two different shades of gray and yeah this will do really really well mm -hmm. better sweater is a very popular style from Patagonia. It is a staple. I actually found a handful of good men's. I don't know if this was that lady's husband or oh, what the deal was. Oh, love that. But then we've got this striped beach hoodie. What is this? And this is by Marine Layer. Oh, I love that. Which kind of like cool. Suddenly I find it all the time. I had never found either of them it's before. A and now I find them all the time. So the lining is all like striped, kind of like a towel. That's really cute. Yeah. And that is also size medium, so same person. Pusha. On to another size medium men's item. This is Filson. Ooh. And that's like a really, like a newer label. That's a good one. And this is like a worker's shirt, oh, which just so means nice. it's like kind of, it looks like a button up, but it's much thicker it's than like, like a normal button up. Yeah. It's 100% cotton though, but it's almost like as thick as a flannel more. Mm -hmm. And I really like the like sage. The green. color is really cute. More from this man. And this actually already sold too. These are my two things that have sold already. This is another Patagonia. And it's funny because sometimes I would like not even want to list something like this myself. Because usually I just like to list the classics, like the better sweater. The and cinchillas. The cinchillas. The puffers. Mm -hmm. But I was like, sure, because it has the logo on the outside. If it has yeah. a logo, then I'm more inclined. Mm -hmm. But this is men's <clears throat> medium as well. And this is like the R1 hoodie something something. Oh, I didn't even notice the R. But these are really expensive. This retailed at like 160 and I sold it for 70 Patagonia, no, just in general. Put that in my ship pile. Really expensive. I'll do one more and then Ryan can take a turn. So this is Ralph Lauren. <gasps> I found a Ralph Lauren. And this is really too. cute. It's my favorite type of Ralph Lauren to sell. The tribal Country. kind of style stuff. I don't really care what line it's from, whether it be Polo, Lauren Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren. If it's tribal, I will pick it all up. 
up and I will mark it all up as well. It's really cute. Okay, so first thing for me, is that a clothing a item? It is this Pottery Barn Teen. It is called the Boho Wonder is the name of this print. Little pillow thing. It has this really pretty gold detailing throughout. I'm mad I didn't find any more. It's really pretty. It's really, it looks really, really like pretty. looks like anthro. I know. That's what I thought it was going to be when I found it, which makes me mad. Okay. And then, so I'm not going to show you all these individually, but this is a stack of Fabletics size XL, palm trees, flowers, this flower, and then whatever this is. They're all size XL. They are all the Power Hold High Rise Leg Extra Small, not Extra Large, excuse me. Power Hold. Way different. Yes. High Rise Leggings. They definitely have seen some better days. They have all been washed, but I have them listed, I think, for like 35 bucks for all four of them just to like get them into somebody else's hands. This is a really cute ASOS design, ASOS denim, whatever it is. Really cute little like long line trucker jacket. And it does have um, little pockets as well. ASOS, nice like, denim. I know it's really high quality. A little thinner than like Levi's, but still nice. The ASOS, like in house ASOS brand stuff, I don't pay up for a ton because it doesn't sell very well. Um, but I am not going to pick up, like, a denim jacket in the bins because that's just stupid. You're not going to? No, I am. You said I'm not going I to. I am not going to pass on it is what I meant. Yeah. Okay, and then I have two Shein pieces, which what? don't, like, critique me. Or is like, now I won. I feel bad because I think of the poor, like, child that made this for a buffalo nickel and like a bowl of soup and it ended up in the bin. So I'm like, well, we'll try to give it a new life. So this is this really pretty Shein little like ruffle dress and it's a size 4X and it has these really pretty little- I didn't know Shein made plus size. They, it's called Shein Curve. I've seen that label, but I thought that meant like XL. 4X. And then this is a uh, medium and it is this little, it's kind of hard to hold up. There we go. Little like tie front cherry print top. Again, I think of the poor person that made no money making this. I'm like, I can't look. Let that go to a dump. Waste, yeah. I know. So this is a size medium. Super cute. Just little cherry print wrap top. I obviously, I'm not asking a ton for Shein. I think I have them both listed for like $10. It always pains me when you find cute Shein or Forever 21 or Fashion Nova. I'm like, why? why? I just feel bad. So yeah. I buy it. But that's okay. Oh yeah, this sold too. This is nice. <laughs> I would have kept this. So this is a new brand that I think is kind of a bolo. I don't think I'd pay up for it though. It's called Vuri or Vowi. Vuri. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> this is a men's and it's a medium and they kind of make like Lulu knockoffs. It feels just like Lulu. It does. Then. And it's like a kind of like pea green or navy or like army green. And it has a little logo on the pocket there. It only sold for 20 but I got that offer very quickly after I listed it, so I was like, sure. Then, if this you're new really, here and you really somehow cool. don't know that I like Halloween, that's Jack why- Jack loves Halloween. Yeah. So this is Target. It's Zillaration. And this is an XL. It's an L. It's a large. <laughs> it's an X. It's an L. Um, and this is a really cute How mock neck- stinking cute. Halloween <sighs> velvet dress. And even though it's Target, since it's Halloween, it's limited edition, and people like me who are obsessed with Halloween- Buy this a, kind of stuff all year round. want it all year. B, don't really care where it's from. Because not many places. Did you it. ever see that in the store? Do you remember? No, because it's I from don't. like 2015. Oh. When I probably okay. wasn't like hunting through Targets. Not yet. Two years. Then this is Brooks Brothers, and I'm just gonna give this a shot. This is not something I'd normally pick up, but I think it's really nice. It's really pretty. This is like a plaid wool blazer, and actually it's not wool. It's a hundred percent camel hair. How do they obtain camel hair? I don't know. I but this is shape. a forty-two R. So whatever that means. 42 regular. It's super, super nice. I just like the quality is nice. There's no flaws with no. it. I like the like 80s kind of plaid look. Mm -hmm. And now that I'm trying to cross post some stuff to eBay, I'm like, that did, seems like an eBay thing. Did Brooks Brothers go out of business? Or did they just close I think a bunch they of, got or did they just out. like go online? Uh, somehow they're still open, but they did file bankruptcy. I remember my parents always shopped at Brooks Brothers. Um, okay, so this is a lag and look piece. Again, definitely not anything in my personal style, but I know it sells very well. The brand is Fanini, size large, and it's just this 100% linen little smock jacket with the cute little tassels in the front. I do like the collar. I know, the collar is really cute, and I like the back. How the back has this, like, Wait, I don't know if it's it? going to show up. It's, like, ribbed. 
Hmm. Kind of. I think it's cute. And then it has these like really pretty little mother of pearl buttons. I think that's quite nice. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about me feeling awful for fast fashion. So this is New It Tags, Pretty Little Thing, which is another one of those like super fast fashion. Unethical guys. Chinese companies that just churns it out in a week. Um, but it's cute though. And somebody's gonna like this. And it's pretty. It's this beige little romper with all these pretty flowers on it and this cute little like, like ruffle. Ham on it. Yeah, I was friends with a lot of sorority girls. When I was in college, I was not one of them personally. I don't know if you can tell. Um, and this is the kind of crap that they would wear to like every single event ever. It's like a little romper with flowers and a little ruffle on it and a pair of like beige heels from like Target. So that's probably going to go to one of them. And then, <laughs> another one. New tag, misguided. This is Jeez, the crop. Just popping off on the fast fashion, aren't you? The ear to me. You go uh, from Gucci to just a pile of fast fashion. <laughs> just made by children for no money. Crop off the shoulder knit jumper, size medium. And that's exactly what the tag says it is. It's a crop knit off the shoulder jumper, size medium from Miss And the nice thing with like that is if, the, if it doesn't sell like... Consignment stores. Play-Doh's Play Closet. Play yeah. My Little Sister. Multitudes of them. So this is actually quite nice. I was really surprised by the brand of this. I love these really big, nice, soft sleeves really? and it's quality. really 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 well made it's really Sick. soft what is it so the brand is onesie oh onesie weird. onesie i know i was like okay um and this was sold on revolve it was sold on mod sense they must have like had a little moment with this one it has a hood on the back as well it's called like the varsity crop something 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 sort of. onesie literally just medium. makes like what looks like screen weird. printed leggings like really just they hit print on a printer and the leggings go through it went whoop I know. So I was like, oh, okay. Interesting. That's a size medium. Then for me, I have this. This is what the XL was. I just got done listing all this. So it's all mixed <laughs> up in my head. Flora Nycruz XL. <gasps> I put, I found a blue one of these when I went shopping on my own the other day. And I put it back. Oh, I cool. usually only get this in the bins because I have found this top many a time. But it is Anthro Pajamas by Flora Night Cruise. Yes. And I have had them in gray and like sky blue. They sold them in every single And color. this is my first time finding pink. Pink. It's but pretty. they usually do quite well. Mm -hmm. Then I found an L.L. Bean. This is very up Lori's alley. That's what she I was is thinking. the L.L. Bean queen. Size 12. Queen L.L. Bean. And this is a vintage sweater, or sweater, a vintage vest. It's like a little And it's like vest. needlepoint tapestry flowers throughout with buttons down the front. So cute. And yes, it's a size 12. I think that'll do pretty good. I like had it in my maybe, my Google pile. And then I looked it up and people saw them for like 50. They so. are adorable. Then this is really pretty. we have right up my alley star print. I love this. It's Banana Republic, size extra small. And it's an entire pajama set because I found the pants and the top. I actually wasn't going to get it when I only found the top. And these are cute. Cute. But then when I found the pants, I was like, pajama sets actually do pretty good. Especially so, during the holidays. For some reason, everybody and their mom wants to pair of pajamas. Yes. And they're both extra small. And they do go together. They're so comfortable. Then Lane Bryant, which I don't always pick up, but this is the new label. And I do like to have plus size in my closet. Size mm -hmm. 14, 16. And I just thought that these were super cute. Oh, they're, they're super wide crop leg pull on pants so they'd be super comfortable everybody likes black and white and they're and cute yeah i think that they will do good and i'll do one more and then next time i go i will be done so this is another patagonia piece <sighs> and this is a girls it has like bears all over it and like shapes and clouds. it's really cute unfortunately when i was taking pictures today i realized it has no zipper but you know what It'd be cute. And I think I'm going to put in the description, you can bring it to Patagonia and they'll fix it. You can send it to Patagonia for $5 and, and they it. will fix it for I'm you and send not, it back. I'm not going to do it because it's kids, but I will put yeah. that as a detail. It's 5T and it is a cinchilla. It's so cute. Yeah. Really oh, it's adorable. Okay. So this is a new brand to me. It's, I honestly thought about keeping this for myself because it is literally the softest thing I've ever held my entire life. So the brand is Soft Serve. Hmm. And I was like, this looks fun. What is it? So I Googled it and it's a loungewear company that makes all their clothes out of recycled bottles. Oh, cool. How nice is that? So this is also a 2X, which really made me want to keep it because like this thing is a blanket. Yeah. It's called the Cotton Super Soft something hoodie. It's got a nice little kangaroo pocket on the back and then it's got just plain on the back. But oh, it is literally so, so soft. What do they retail at? 
like a hundred bucks. It's kind of expensive. That's why I'm like, okay. This I also thought about keeping, but I do not need another anything. This is a vintage this Yale. This will also do really, really good. It's so. quite cute. It is a vintage Yale uh, navy blue. I don't know if you can see. It's a V-neck um, sweater vest. It is originally from Cutter and Buck. Size extra large, but I am 100% not going to pass on anything that looks like this at all because yeah, this is like what they have at Aritzia. Aritzia and the H&M like Harvard stuff. Yeah. So I was like at the bins. Sure. Oh, yeah. I'd probably buy that at the <laughs> store too. Okay. So this was one of my really good vintage finds and I again wanted to keep it for myself, but I it's a vintage 1990s, 1980s guess, guess jeans, USA sweatshirt. And I know it's vintage because look at this tag. Look how old she is. Size large. It does have a few little age spots on it. There's a little pinhole up here by the collar. There's a little paint splatter on one of the sleeves right there. And then um, the sleeve trim on each of them is a little bit worn, but it's not that bad. And this stuff, I don't know, honestly, if it's still as popular as it was like two years ago, but I'm not gonna pass it up with the bins. Okay, I just got three more to show. First up, these are PacSun and they're teeny tiny, they're 23, but these are the mom jean and these they're in the cute. classic vintage wash. And so sometimes I pick these up with the bins cause they do do pretty decent. Mm -hmm. And then this is a new Log & Luke brand. <gasps> To is it me? Magnolia Pearl? No, it's Echepis Bellas. Can they never have like a normal name? Echepis Bells? I don't know. But this is made by a woman on a farm who lives in like Barlington, France or something. She's just like in her barn. Uh, just yoli, yoli, But yoli. I was reading Running about it on her thing. website. And she makes these by hand. So how someone got it and got it here, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there's definitely a lot of lag and look people in Minnesota yeah. that I just never knew existed. Oh, even the button. Good for her. It says Echepelis Bells or whatever. But yeah. Linen blend. They look like the Magnolia Pearl pants so, that I found. So, yeah, these pants literally retail at $320, which is crazy. She is making a lot of money in there. And her barn. sizing is so weird. So they're size 5, which is like XL. But it's like she only makes like size 1, 3, and 5, which is like small, medium, and XL or something. It's really fun. What? Then last for me, at Leto. And, little... and it's 1X. I didn't know I thought I made plus size. So that's pretty that. cool. And these are just gray Chaturungas, which is the Wonder Under knockoff. So they should do good. Never had plus size Athleta. So next up for me, a really cute little graphic t-shirt. The brand is Everlane and it's the 100% human t-shirt. I think this is adorable, but it looks kind of tiny. It's a size small. It's really small but it's super cute. Another really fun little vintage find. A, a vintage wolf sweatshirt, Howlin' at the Moon. This is definitely from like somebody's uncle in the 80s and I absolutely love this it. This is like the stuff that Walmart makes now to try to be like cool. We're cool. This is Tulex originally, size large. Really fun graphic. And the graphic's really soft, which I appreciate. And then just plain in the back. And then I found a, another really cute little sweater vest. This one is originally by Izod. But the brand doesn't matter with these. I love these colors and this style. Impa Click -a -clicker does amazing. These little, like, knit argyle Everything that looks vests. like someone would golf in it is very popular right now. It's quite trendy. That's a size extra small. This is a size 8. I was obsessed with this, and then I realized it was the gap, and I was just a little bit less. And now I'm equally as obsessed with it, because I, I looked up you're cards. the only person who says the gap. The gap? It's just gap. The gap. No, it's the gap. No, that's like people in like old movies would be like, let's go to the gap. It's the gap. That's the like the 90s, right? It's not called the gap anymore. That's like when you say Nordstrom's rack. <laughs> my family says Nordstrom's rack. And like, am I living <laughs> or, in a retirement home? say mom? like Nordstrom's. <laughs> Everything is plural. The gap. I don't know what the gap what is. What is there a gap between? Me and you. There's a gap here. Get it? Anyway. Okay. So this is, or... Okay. So this is the... Gap um, girlfriend blazer in this really pretty gray and white and black plaid. These actually, I thought this would be like a little $20 flip. They actually sell for like $40 to $50. Again, I think it's just because like big blazers are really trendy. Trend report. Oversized blazers. And it's so soft. It's so cute. Okay, so only a few more things left. One of them being this really cute little kids Zara pinafore dress. By the Zara. By the Zara. It's a size 11, 12. I don't know what that translates to in like children, but like 
I think mm, medium. Really cute North Face men's full zip fleece. Like, I don't know what the men don't call it mock neck, like half neck, I guess. Little jacket, size small. And then last but not least, because this was the first thing he showed and I'm gonna show mine. I also found a really cute Ralph Lauren little sweater. How fun is this? I love this. It's a wool blend. Uh. And it's absolutely I stunning. I love tribal Ralph Lauren. It's like, so pretty. It does good on every platform. It literally does. It sells so fast. It this is a size medium too. Matter I what think. label it is. Oh, okay. I'm done now. So that is all that we have for you guys today, Lori. <laughs> no, just kidding. Actually, Balls in your court, girl. Actually, what are you gonna pull out of a bin? I was gonna say, I'll be so confident, and then Lori's just gonna like blow us out. Of I the said water. she's gonna pull a keep all out of a bin, and it really wouldn't surprise me if I get this text that just says, "Hey, loser." Yeah, get out, loser. I have her on my phone as Lori Tada, so I'm gonna get like Siri's gonna say Lori Tada says, today, hey, tada, loser. <laughs> "Hey loser." Okay, Lori. It's gonna be so, good. what are you gonna find, girly? Good luck to you, Lori. We're good sports. I hope that you. I, I mean, I hope. I hope. I hope Lori video. found good stuff. I hope, I hope we beat her, ball. but I hope she also found good stuff that'll make her a lot of money. Yes. And I also hope that you guys, next time you go sourcing, find good stuff as find well. Something. Let us know what's the funnest thing you found this week if you went sourcing. And and thank you, Lori, for doing this with us. We always have a fun time collaborating uh, time. with the Lori Tara. And we will see you guys on Saturday. Saturday. For a regular Vat Sold Saturday. Goodbye. Bye.